Take your seat. Continue, Honourable Member. At least Honourable Chair, South Africa now knows that the leader of the EFF is nothing else than a Mickey Mouse Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> Let's solve this problem. Oh, of order, House Honourable Frunewald. Hello, family. I've come across some video here that I want you to watch it because I don't want to put my opinions or give my opinions in this video. I want you guys to contribute to it. I want you guys to give me your opinions. What do you think about this video? So let's watch this video. Then after watching this video, let's meet in the comment section to discuss about this debate, guys. See you there. Akbar, voorzitter, I'm coming to the EFF. I want to say to the EFF, quite a lot of smoke is coming out of the doors and the windows of the war room of the EFF. Now, I hear that you refer to your leader as a commander-in-chief, but he's absent here today. Now, let me say, a real commander-in-chief would Chair have Person. been here today Chair to Person. protect its soldiers. Honourable Chair Person, Person, Honourable Point just take order. your seat. Why are you rising, Honourable Member? Chairperson, uh, the Commander-in-Chief is not absent. He is attending the Pan-Africanist Parliament in Kigali, Rwanda. The Honourable Member is misleading the House. So we are aware of that, Honourable Member. He is so not aware. Can you make him aware? He is now aware. Take Thank your you. seat, Honourable Can Member. Can he withdraw the way the way no, they absent? There's, there's nothing to withdraw, Honourable Member. Thank you for the information. Continue, Honourable Member. Thank you, Chair. The Chair fact of the matter is he is not here. Honourable the real Honourable. Commander in Chief Honourable has Honourable. been here. But hey, now we are all the people Take of South Africa. Take your seat. Why are you rising, Honourable Member? On a point of order, Chair. Secondly, yes. we are not answerable to this Honourable Member. Honourable Member, that's not a point of yeah, order. That's not a come matter for debate. We are not answerable to you, Chair. Honourable Member, we take your end. seat. Take your seat. Continue, Honourable Member. At least Honourable Chair, South Africa now knows that the leader of the EFF is nothing else than a Mickey Mouse Commander-in-Chief. <laughs> Let's solve this problem oh, very easily. Honourable Frunewald, take your seat. Chairperson. Yes, Honourable Member. Honourable, Honourable, Honourable Members, Chairperson. Just take a seat, please. Yes, Honourable Member. If Mr. Frunewald wants us to get to insults, I think we are more capable than him. Can you please just tell him to withdraw that so-called Mickey Mouse uh, Commander-in-Chief? Otherwise, he's not going to talk. And Honourable we can make member, him not to talk. Take your seat now. Thank you. Just tell him Honourable that. Honourable otherwise, we'll come there for him now. Honourable there. Member, we don't take your seat. Him. He's useless. Honourable Member, take your He's seat. He's very useless, man. I'm switching off your mic you now. Think we Honourable Member, take your seat. I've switched off your mic. Honourable Frunewald. Order. Order, Honourable Members. Order. Honourable Grunewald, you were here earlier when I read a lengthy ruling in terms of respect to one another. Can we maintain that, please, and not allow ourselves to be lured into a situation where we start throwing insults to one another? I want you to withdraw that remark, please. With respect, uh, Honourable Chair, he is, a, and I will not withdraw that. Honourable Member, since order. you do not want to withdraw the remark, can you leave the podium, please? That man is wanting to be more. Honourable Member. My, uh, Honourable Chair, may I address you on this matter? Honourable Grunewald. Yeah, may, may I address you? Yes, you may. Thank you, Chair. Chair, this is the National Assembly. According to the Constitution of the Republic of South Africa, there is only one Commander-in-Chief in this House. And that is the Honourable President of the Republic of South Africa. No one else can be a Commander-in-Chief. Akhwara, Voorzitter, dear E, Honourable President, there's nothing wrong to have dreams. In fact, I do believe that real political leaders must have dreams. But then we must say to each other, it must be dreams to last forever. That's the difference. Chairperson, 
every time I delivered a speech from this podium in previous Sonos, congratulating the Honourable President with his election, I said that the Freedom Front Plus and its supporters wants to build South Africa. We want to build a better future for all. In your campaign, Honourable President, you said that Stellenbosch, that you wish you could tie the white young people of South Africa to a tree preventing them from leaving South Africa. But did you ever ask yourself, why do the white people and the young people of South Africa leave South Africa? It is because they don't get jobs. And they don't get jobs because of affirmative action. You say that you want to utilize their skills and their expertise. The fact of the matter is you cannot do it because of affirmative action they have to go and seek jobs at other places in the world. And yes, the world reap those expertise from the people and the young people of South Africa. Still you discriminate against the young white people of South Africa. Your own youth employment scheme. White young people cannot participate in it because they are white. If you go and look, for instance, what your Secretary General Eisma Gesule says, he is still blaming the white people of white monopoly capital. His argument is still because of the white people that we cannot have economic growth. Chairperson, with great respect, that is a kick in the teeth of those people who really wants to build South Africa. Do you want to recognize them? Do you want to enslave the young people and the white young people of South Africa? Because if you think you can enslave them, you are completely wrong. If you look at your MEC for Education in Gauteng, always blaming Afrikaans schools for his own failures and using it as a smokescreen instead of attend to the schools who are real problems. Do the ANC have a problem with my mother tongue language of Afrikaans? Because that is what Le Sufi says. But I didn't see, Honorable President, that you repudiated him. I said before, do away with black economic empowerment. And can I say, I'm supported by black academics like William Gumeli. You know, in the election time, when I put in some petrol in my car, the attendant said to me, I'm going to vote for you. And I asked why. And he said, you are quite correct. When it comes to black economic empowerment, it is only favoring the political elite. So, I want to come and say you want to build the economy. How can you build the economy if you have a construction mafia stopping 74 construction projects demanding a 30% shareholding in the company? How can you build the economy if more than 110 engineers in the construction business left South Africa because of this crime elements in South Africa. I want to say to you today, if you don't curb these criminal activities, you will not be able to build the economy. More than 16 trucks burned over a weekend. The people that keeps the economy rolling but they burn them and people lose their lives because of crime in South Africa. Chairperson, you will have to ensure that if you want the economy to grow, that you curb the powers of the unions. You know, and everybody in South Africa know, when it comes to the SOEs in South Africa, you have to retrench people. But the unions come to you and the ANC and says, 
you will not do that. And that is part of the problem. You will have to curb their powers. You will have to revise labor laws in South Africa. Chairperson, I come to crime. And I want to ask you, why is it so difficult to publicly condemn farm murders in South Africa? In South Africa, we have black farmers, we have colored farmers, we have Indian farmers, we have white farmers. The food you had this morning when you had breakfast, you must thank the farmers. Everybody who's going to have lunch just now, thank the farmers. Chairperson, I will for the Akbara president say, for the last year, ongeveer the last year, was there a lot of moskees, one in KwaZulu-Natal and one in Mamesbury. I three immediately up. I benoem onmiddellijk een presidentiële komitee van de minister van politie, van verdediging en van justitie. Ik wil vandaag voor u zeggen: een plaatsmoord is niet een moord op een individu. Het is niet alleen een crime against een individual, het is een crime against de community. Het is de women en children die pay the price of a farm murder, where they are tortured, where they throw boiling water down their throats where they take hot irons burning the women, where they force a 12-year girl to see how her mother is raped. That's torture. But still, you do refuse to publicly condemn farm murders. And I appeal to you. It's simple. And I will say to you, Honorable President, I will invite you to a funeral of a farm murder, and you invite me to any other funeral you wish to. Lastly, Chairperson, I want to say there's one outstanding matter. And that is Section 235 of the Constitution that deals with self-determination. It also determines that national legislation has to determine what happens with Section 235. There's an accord between the Freedom Front, the African National Congress, and the government in 1994. Chairperson, I appeal to you that we meet, that we take this step forward to ensure that Section 235 of the Constitution, which deals with self-determination, take taken forward. I think that this is the enigste article in the Grondwet that bepaalt that national wetgeving wel geschreven moet worden, wat nog niet geschreven is. Nie. So, en daar die opzicht het ons ook uh, grondwettelijke verantwoordelijkheid in plig. Achbare president, ek wil afsluit. You know, there's a song that says it's actually the green, green grass of home. It's about this prisoner who sang and he thought in his song I want to touch the green, green grass of home and then he says and when I wake and I look around me, I was surrounded by four great walls. And yes, I then realized that I was only dreaming. Because he's a prisoner. Honorable President, you are a prisoner of the African National Congress. Break away from that. Then you can save South Africa. Then you can save the economy. I thank you. After watching this video, guys, what comes to your mind? What do you think about this video? You know, these old videos play some very, very key role in our society and in our economy, our country, and in our, in, in Africa in general. Because, you know, these leaders that we do elect, <coughs> they are people that we've been living with in the society. They are people that we've been eating with. They are people that we've been talking to. They do forget where they have come from. They do forget some of the promises that they have made to the people before becoming the leader the leader they are so this will this video reminds us of uh, who our leaders are and the things that maybe they promised us that they're going to deliver but they haven't delivered them so by us reminding you or bring back to life these old videos it gives you an old view of that leader that maybe you've elected and you too much believed in him okay it reminds you of the kinds of promises that maybe he made or they made to you as a voter so that's why we do like 
giving life to the old videos so that we get to remember what happened or what they promised because you might be electing a murderer who maybe killed people in the old days you might be electing a, a liar who in in his record of in in his record he has been lying all through so by us playing these old clips it gives you a history and reminder of the leaders that are leading you and also helps you to make choice wisely when it comes to electing your new leaders or maintaining your leaders okay so that's why we do like bring back to life these old videos because they play a very very important role in our society you know i've received a, lot, a number of comments from my fans from you guys that we do we just like bring bring old videos that happened maybe 10 years ago but you forget that the same same video that was played 10 years ago is the same same person that is leading you today okay because these old videos have a very very big impact in your life a very very big impact in your generation to come in your children it has a very very big impact in your country and in your continent africa okay so guys i love you so much guys and i don't know how to appreciate you by the way you know we are like one year old in youtube and i thank god for the immense growth that we have since we started and i thank you to fans because you've been there for us you've been there with us and you've been there to support us so we don't take any viewer for granted we don't take any subscriber for granted we don't take any like and any comment for granted because any comment and any like and any view counts so guys do not stop watching our videos always support us always like and always remember to give us your opinion about the videos that we post we are here to learn together i learn from you as you learn from me okay okay because i might not know everything and you there watching these videos that we do post and maybe you have something new that can help africa can help south africa can help our countries okay and can help the people of africa or the people of the black descent africa is still being controlled by the white people starting from our economy our culture our lifestyle these people control who we are they control what africa should look like they say that africa is the future have you ever asked yourself why they say that africa is the future because they have arranged everything and they know what step to take next that shows that these people have, are always ahead of us okay they are always ahead of us so it is us africans to unite together and defeat these people who wants to manipulate and change our culture they want to completely change our names they want to change who we are how we think how we reason and how we bring up our children because today sincerely speaking many parents are failing because they have left their children to the internet the internet has become the parents of the children today because the internet controls them shows them what to do and how to behave you see so that's how that's where we also failing as the parents of these 21st centuries so we need to style up and change the way we think the way we look at things and the way we uh, want our children to grow Thank you guys and let's meet again in our next video.